new slime robot just revealed China's secret weapon. Chinese scientists have won the race to become the first ever to finally create a moving magnetic slime capable of encircling smaller objects, self healing, and very large deformation to squeeze and travel through narrow spaces. Keep watching! Hi, my name is Alex, and welcome to AI News Daily. In this video, we will be looking at China's latest secret weapon, presenting the Slime Robot. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications. Let's get started. Let's talk slime. The slime, which is controlled by magnets, is also a good electrical conductor and can be used to interconnect electrodes, its creators say. The dark colored magnetic blob has been compared on social media to flubber, the eponymous substance in the 1997 sci fi film, and described as a magnetic turd and amazing and a tiny bit terrifying. Professor Li Zhang of the Chinese University of Hong Kong, who co created the slime, emphasized that the substance was real scientific research and not an April Fool's joke, despite the timing of its release. The slime contains magnetic particles so that it can be manipulated to travel, rotate, or form O and C shapes when external magnets are applied to it. The blob was described in a study published in the peer reviewed journal Advanced Functional Materials as a magnetic slime robot. The ultimate goal is to deploy it like a robot, Zhang said, adding that for the time being, the slime lacked autonomy. We still consider it as fundamental research, trying to understand its material properties. Viscoelastic Properties The slime has viscoelastic properties, Zhang said, meaning that sometimes it behaves like a solid, sometimes it behaves like a liquid. It is made of a mixture of a polymer called polyvinyl alcohol, borax, which is widely used in cleaning products, and particles of neodymium magnet. How is it made? It consists of a mixture of a polymer called polyvinyl alcohol, borax, and particles of neodymium magnet, responsible for the attraction that leads to the slime's movements. It's very much like mixing water with cornstarch at home, Zhang said. Mixing the two produces oobleck, a non-Newtonian fluid whose viscosity changes under force. When you touch it very quickly, it behaves like a solid. When you touch it gently and slowly, it behaves like a liquid, Zhang said. The researcher does indicate that it could be used inside the human body, inside the digestive tract. However, there is one danger with that, and that is that the magnetic particles in the slime are toxic. Battling Toxicity while the team have no immediate plans to test it in a medical setting, the scientists envisage the slime could be useful in the digestive system, for example, in reducing the harm from a small, swallowed battery. To avoid toxic electrolytes leaking out, we can maybe use this kind of slime robot to do an encapsulation, to form some kind of inert coating, he said. The magnetic particles in the slime, however, are toxic themselves. The researchers coated the slime in a layer of silica, the main component in sand, to form a hypothetically protective layer. The safety would also strongly depend on how long you would keep them inside of your body, Zhang said. Zhang added that pigments or dye could be used to make the slime, which is currently an opaque brown-black hue, more colorful. Although it's a cool invention to watch, in reality, it cannot serve any true purpose in the human body until its toxic qualities are completely removed. Treatment not for the squeamish. Accidentally swallowed a magnetic ball? Not to worry, the creation of these Hong Kong scientists, that is, their state of the art slime robot, can be magnetically manipulated to retrieve inadvertently ingested objects, among a myriad of other real world applications. A case study detailing the cybernetic cutting edge invention was published recently in the journal Advanced Functional Materials. The ultimate goal is to deploy it like a robot, the GooBots co creator Li Zhang of the Chinese University of Hong Kong told The Guardian. Zhang and his team reportedly concocted the revolutionary ooze by mixing neodymium magnet particles with household detergent borax and the resin polyvinyl alcohol, the first ingredient so it can be controlled magnetically, routers reported. They then coated the toxic magnetic particles with silica to hypothetically make them safe for use inside the human body. Think of a fun sized liquid metal T1000 from Terminator 2, if it was built to help rather than harm. Self healing properties or an April Fool's joke? If that wasn't sci fi channel enough, the magnetic glob can also heal itself, form C and O shapes, and even conduct electricity. 
In fact, the bot's abilities seemed so far-fetched that social media thought it was an April Fool's Day gag when it debuted on April 1, The Guardian reported. However, a freaky breakthrough video shows a soft-bodied robot pulling wires together, enveloping objects like the blob, navigating passages as narrow as 1.5 millimeters, and even glomming together after being chopped apart, behaving like mercury from a broken thermometer. Scientists believe that the globule could boast a range of essential applications, such as transporting harmful things and circuit switching and repair per the study. Most importantly, perhaps, it could potentially extract non-food items accidentally ingested by people, a critical function given recent horror stories of people swallowing pointedly dangerous foreign objects, from needles to car keys. No word as to whether the flubber-like substance works on objects accidentally lodged in people's urethras, though. Public Reaction to the Blob The goop spawned mixed reactions on social media, with one gawker deeming it kind of frightening. I think I'd rather have whatever was swallowed pass through naturally than ingest what looks like magnetic turd," wrote another naysayer, scoffing at the invention's potential medical uses. Others, including the official Sony account, compared the dark blob to the eponymous space symbiote from the Venom movies. Others deemed it a vicious Trojan horse that the government could use to implant hardware under the guise of performing invasive surgery. Yes, like they're gonna spend millions on developing this for retrieving items accidentally swallowed," said one social media conspiracy theorist. Be not afraid of the living, controllable robot glob that can slither into your body," wrote another snarky doomsayer. Fortunately, as many Twitter users pointed out, the slime ball is not sentient. It's not intelligent, it has no parts, said one Twitter realist, in retort to other users' paranoid free associating. It's just a blob you move around with magnets. How to track it? As Zhang explained that, while for now the Roboglob is not autonomous, we still consider it as fundamental research, trying to understand its material properties. However, before they can use the robot inside a real person's body, the scientists will first need to come up with a way of tracking it. If you want to control something inside the body to do a specific task, you have to know where the robot is and how it's performing," Pietro Valdastri from the University of Leeds told the New Scientist magazine. It would also need to be tested to make sure the magnetic particles, which are toxic on their own, aren't able to separate from the slime. They need to verify safety with future trials, but it's definitely a sound approach," Valdastri added. The Basic Purpose of Such Robots Magnetic miniature soft-bodied robots allow non-invasive access to restricted spaces and provide ideal solutions for minimally invasive surgery, micromanipulation, and targeted drug delivery. However, the existing elastomer-based silicone and fluid-based ferrofluid or liquid metal magnetically actuated miniature soft robots have limitations. Owing to its limited deformability, the elastomer-based small-scale soft robot cannot navigate through a highly restricted environment. In contrast, although fluid-based soft robots are more capable of deformation, they are also limited by the unstable shape of the fluid itself, and are therefore poorly adapted to the environment. In this study, non-Newtonian fluid-based magnetically actuated slime robots with both the adaptability of elastomer-based robots and reconfigurable significant deformation capabilities of fluid-based robots are demonstrated. The robots can negotiate through narrow channels with a diameter of 1.5 millimeters and maneuver on multiple substrates in complex environments. The proposed slime robot implements various functions, including grasping solid objects, swallowing and transporting harmful things, human motion monitoring, and circuit switching and repair. This study proposes the design of novel soft-bodied robots and enhances their future applications in biomedical, electronic, and other fields. So, we guess all there's left to ask is, once this technology advances and develops well into the future, would you be brave enough to volunteer to undergo such a procedure wherein a literal slime blob enters your body as a form of treatment? Are you game enough? Let us know in the comments below. With that, we have come to the end of this video. Consider subscribing to join in next time for more of such interesting content.